Comment 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.5, number 73. And here we were told that we had a box, right? And the length was one more or one inch more than the width, which was one inch more than the height. And the volume in total was 86.625 cubic inches. Okay, so we know volume is always length times width times height. And part of the problem here is that there are three variables on this side of the equation, and we need to get that down to one. Right, so we need to narrow that down to one variable so we can start working this. So let's see the equations they gave us. They told us the length is one inch more than the width. So I've got L equaling W plus one. All right, and then they imply that the width is one more inch than the height. So I've got W equaling H plus one. So if I look at what I have so far, right, I would say volume is length times width times height. Then let's start subbing some of these in. So instead of length, I can write W plus one times a W times an H. Whoops, there we go. All right, now let's solve or sub in for W. So every time I see a W, I can write H plus one. So I have H plus one plus one times H plus one times H. And if I simplify that a little bit, I'm gonna get H plus two times H plus one times H. And the good thing about that is I only have the one variable on this side now. All right, so I got down from three variables up here to go to one variable here. And then when I distribute this all out, right, when I multiply these binomials by, by foiling, I get h squared plus 3h plus 2. And then when I distribute the h through, I'm going to get h cubed plus 3h squared plus 2h. And they told me that volume was 86.625. So I've got a cubic equation. Let's go ahead and set it to zero and see what I can do. Now, I don't want to use the rational root theorem here because this is a pretty ugly fraction that I'm not going to deal with. This one's not too bad. It's got a coefficient of one. But again, I don't, I don't want to deal with all of that stuff. So start to use technology. When you graph this function on your calculator, there looks to be a zero between x equaling three and x equaling four. And I found the exact value to be 3.5. And you could actually stop there. You can be like, well, if I have a zero at 3.5, that's definitely going to be my height. So at this point, instead of saying x equaling 3.5, I could say I know the height is 3.5 inches. But just for fun, I checked it using synthetic division, right? I put 3.5 here, and then I took my coefficients of 1, 3, 2, and negative 86.625, and you see 1, 3, 2, and negative 86.625. And sure enough, when I ran synthetic division, I did get zero. So this is definitely a, a, a zero, all right? But I, I don't even care about the other factors. I mean, they're nice, but it doesn't matter. So at this point, like I said, I know that the height of the box is 3.5 inches. And if the width is one inch more than the height, that would make the width four and a half inches. And then the length is one more inch, is one inch longer than the width, so that would make that five and a half inches. So there's my length, my width, and my height for my box that has a volume of 86.625 cubic inches. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.